Pop. What you talking about now? I'm on my way. On your way to what? To your job. Hey, they tell uh tell Ram I'm on the way. Going to community center. Community center was senior center since our um my mentor works out uh, works out there. You know, I just go out there and have fun sometimes, to be honest with you. I don't, you don't want to see you me. Up. You don't want to see me. Yeah. I've been waiting on you. He's the best one. They called me the Ram. Because my game is tough. <laughs> I'm a table buster. Ram, I ain't want to do it to you today now, Ram. You might not win another game. Uh-huh. Mm. You said what? I'm going to win this one now. Huh? I'm gonna win this one right here. For real? Ram ain't going nowhere. Can't, can't stop, Ram. You did it. I'm a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you talk. Don't you talk. Don't you talk. Don't you talk over there. If you get me today, you get me. If I get you today. If you no, get no, me today. No, 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 listen. You're in the big leagues, my man. I've been the big leagues since I was born. Well, you're big enough to be in that one. You need some time, you need. He's talking plenty of trash. Yeah, talking more trash than a radio. <laughs> See all y'all again. You don't want no more. I will be back. <laughs> I will be. Teach lessons. <laughs> okay, well, on episode 13 of the Marlon. <laughs> on the Marlon Davidson show, I just got my butt whooped by senior citizens. <laughs> I mean, good God almighty. You know, like, you can get training anywhere. You know, it just depends on how hard you're going to work at it. How hard you, you know, your focus and your mindset is going to be towards it. Just being here, man, is, it, it humbles me back to being the, the, the young kid that used to work out here in ninth grade and give his all. I've been training here since I was in junior high, so I know, you know, the grind that, that we had to put in, you know, to get to this point. And, and I wanted Marlon to be a part of that, you know. And here we are today, you know, both about to be. I'm in the NFL, he about to be in the NFL. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, when I, when I work, I work. You know, like, I show effort, I do it all. I don't care if I'm playing basketball, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to give effort, I'm going to hustle, I'm going to do everything. Like, that's what separates me from everybody else. The work ethic, you know, always been there with him. And uh, just over the years, just continue to try to work on getting better. You know, he's kind of a perfectionist. He likes to try to perfect everything he does, so. He's hungry. Now that I can say, especially for him to be as high prioritized as he is, he's hungry. Uh, he's a great kid. And for him to be so young, I forget sometimes that he's just 21. He's smart. He's very intelligent for his age. But like I said, he just come here and work, and he's a natural leader. Marlon moves really well to be a 300 pound man. Like he is quick, he's got quick feet. Um, he changes direction well. Uh, he's, he picks up everything fast. Like Marlon's a one, one take guy. You tell him one time, he's got. We all put had a whole hood turn. They put us on the same team in the league. We all put had a whole hood turn. All my home. Hey, the whole hood gonna be turned. They're trying to make sure I soak up the love here. You know, let everybody know, like, man, uh, you know, I appreciate everything they've done for me, everything they're doing for me. And just making sure I finish it with the people that I started it with. A lot of people don't understand the impact that Mr. Ty had on my life. Like, he had a tremendous impact. Like, his foundation helped me a lot and helping me continue to be the man that my mother wanted me to be and just becoming, being the man that I want to be for my future wife and kids. Pull up for a real one. I say pull up for a real one. Pull up for a real one. I got an ice tub three days this week. That's how much that thing was today. Them things be hard, man. Them hard days. Really hard days. Oh, 
Who you gonna miss? What if the hell makes grown man cry, boy? Hey, who's next? <laughs> Come on, time. Shoot, what you wanna be? You wanna be a sixth rounder or you wanna be a first rounder? I said, man, I wanna be first. So let's get their first round money. So that's how we think about it every day. You know what I mean? Even being in that small space that we got, you know what I mean? We still get the work out that we're supposed to do, you know, no matter what. Would you say you're a competitive person? Yes. I win everything I do. Except for the lag game of dominoes Except and the lag game, game of spades. If I can control it, if, it, if, it's me, if it's me by myself, I will win. You play pool, you can play spades, you can play Madden. He wants to win, he's gonna talk the whole time. I mean, he's just a competitive kid, like, all the time. Big Rand, have you ever beat me in pool? I ain't beat you. All right then, boy, so get my crown. Get my... It don't matter. We not talking about D. We talking about me and you. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything me and him do, he get, he, he, he think he it's a championship. <laughs> Man, I'm the GOAT, man. Oh, okay. We I, when, they, when, they, when they put me out the wound, they said I was the GOAT. Oh, okay. We're gonna see. Now, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna name me Billy GOAT. We're gonna, we're gonna Billy learn. GOAT Davis. We're gonna learn today. They were like, nah, they'll make fun of me. Marlon believes that. He truly believes he's the best athlete. He believes that. Some people just say it. He believes it. Ooh, I'm the best. I'm the best at what I do, man. I'm gonna go out and show these people that I'm the, I'm the best. And that's what my whole goal is, come out here to show that I'm the best. I was always trying to be the best. Because I hold myself to that standard that I am the best. So if I feel like I'm the best, and I'm not playing like I'm the best, then you're not the best. Well, as soon as the doctor pulled me, you know, and they had me in their hand, they was like, here, you got a baby boy. I was the best. I had the best running across my forehead. You know, it was just there, like. <laughs> so I was like, you know, hey, I'm the best. <laughs> we here? Combine. I love most about the game is that this is true now, okay, this is true. I love most about the game is that I can literally go out there and hit a man consistently and pound him and the police not come. That is the most enjoyable moment about ball, is to go out there and just really abuse somebody. And then they won't say nothing about it in the press, anything. I ain't on no headlines and handcuffs, no mug shots, no nothing. I might have just physically abusing a man. <laughs> Marlon killed his views. Somewhat went viral. It was just, cause that's Marlon. Marlon gonna talk, Marlon gonna come from the heart. He's basically gonna tell you. And uh, that was, we knew that he would do that. Um, he got a little frustrated with the 40 because the dude restarted him twice. But other than that, everything else went fine. Once they saw Marlon and him interacting and talking in interviews, Marlon, Marlon helped himself tremendously. I think I heard a comment that said that it's probably, I'm probably the most exciting interview of the time. So I mean, that's a good thing, you know. Um, you know, I always smile through it all. And I always try to be happy through it all because at the end of the day, you got another life, uh, another day of living. You have another opportunity to do what you do best. And that's playing ball for me, and I mean, just being out here talking, you know, trying to show people some of my brand through my words, and then actually coming on the field and showing them who I am on the field. I love for the Browns to draft him at 10th overall, to play in front of me. You know, that's what type of player he is, and I, I know he's ready for sure. You know, he dominated the game, you know, for four years straight. Uh, never had any excuses. You know, always did his job. Always kept his head down. You know, and he's he's a baller. It's that simple. My expectation is to be picked. I don't care what round I go. I don't care what pick I go. As long as I go, that's all that matters. <laughs>